It was announced a few weeks back that the day labor program that employs the homeless in St. Joseph has been given new life. I got a chance to do a ride along with them at Krug Park this past week to bring you this report. The homeless are just as unique as any member of society. There are folks that hold up these signs on the street corner, and there are also individuals who are trying to turn their lives around at Cap St. Joe's Emergency Shelter. We're hoping to get out of there as soon as possible. We're that's why we're working here and changing our life and doing what's best for us. The group was busy this past week with cleaning up Krug Park. I mean, my son came up here. It was about, what, a month and a half ago, and down there on that stage, I got his pictures took in. We took pictures together, and that was the first time in a decade that I got to do that with my son. And I want to have my son up here for Christmas, and I want him to know that I love him. I'm 40. I'm starting over. I was on the street for six years. I got picked up and Mayberry brought me back here. So just trying to start over. Uh, I was an alcoholic for 23 years. So six years, I just kind of wandered around on the street because I didn't have my kids and I was lost. One of her sons is still sore about their relationship and she imagines her youngest one is two. And I think he's still here in town. So that's why I stay here. I wouldn't care if you said I hate your guts and I'm mad at you. I just want to see him and know that he's okay. The original day labor program from a couple years back boasted a 50% success rate at getting participants jobs. The participants earn minimum wage $10.30 an hour. Ryan Hennessy, News Press Now. Hey, I know that guy.